Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. We've got quite a few moons in this kingdom now, but we're still missing a few. And also a few purple coins as well. But I think now that we've done a fair bit in this kingdom, we're probably going to move on and then come back to this later on once we have a little bit more done. So, let's go ahead and head on to the next kingdom. Uh-oh, we've hit a proverbial fork in the road. Which kingdom do you think Bowser went to? Let's go to the... We have the Seaside Kingdom and the Snow Kingdom. Let's go to... The Snow Kingdom. The Snow Kingdom, a splendid idea. What an amazing, energetic festival. Let's keep that energy going as we keep up the chase. Let's check out the Snow Kingdom next. Bro, it looks so cold. And it sounds like the races in town are quite popular. And the prize is... Frost Frosted Cake. The Cake Thief's Parting Gift. And first off, I want to go back here and see that uh, purple coins are snowflakes. <laughs> that's not Dilly, uh, Dally. Okay, well, that's fine. I'll just run along this platform that we can see. Do know where I'm supposed to be going, but... Don't, like, I don't need to follow this, but I, I will, anyway. Oh, it's very cold out here. Get walk through the snow a bit and then jump in. To Shivara Town. There's also a hint art here for the Lost Kingdom. And if I can, want to wall jump between these boxes and the moons in this kingdom are orange you scared us welcome to Shivera we're all just a little on edge right now here's the shop we can also bounce on these for some coins but I don't think they have purple coins on them no cake and no racing, no fun. That monster ruined everything. That mustache of yours must keep your face nice and toasty. You need a rounder body if you want to race. That monster stole our racing prize, the Frost Frosted Cake. As if that weren't bad enough, he blocked the entrance to our race course. We need power moons to get uh, back in. So, let's go to one of these areas and see if we can find some power moons. Wind Chill Cavern. Got these enemies here that can blow everything off. We have some spinies that we need to avoid. But these cloud enemies are blowing things around. Which we can actually use to our advantage because we can capture them. So let's just blow that block out of the way and let's hop out of there. 
And now, if I cannot fall off the edge into the poison, and if I can grab this guy, gonna blow all these off. Shaking makes you blow even better. A lot stronger. So you can knock everything out of the way. I just want to get these purple coins while I'm here. And then, if I can go back this way for some more purple coins. Grab all those. And if we blow this back, and then get off, we can actually climb this up to here, and then ground pound for a power moon. The first time I got that power moon, I didn't realize to blow that block back into place. It's a lot easier if we blow it back into place. But anyway, without falling into the poison, let's go ahead and grab this power moon. The gusty barrier has been opened. Let's head back through this pipe. The en energy of the power moon seems to open these barriers. Now three more barriers. Oh my goodness, so many barriers. Let's go down this way. Snow mountain, snowy mountain. We can get rid of the snow with Cappy or just walking into it normally. But there's sometimes stuff hidden in it, but I don't think any of this is actually has anything that valuable in it, so we can mostly ignore all that snow. Let's just push ourselves up here with that. Gust of air. Go through here carefully. And let's go over this way. And now we have this over here, but we also have this little crack in the wall, which is actually just snow that you can walk straight through. Which allows us to go over here for a power moon behind the snowy mountain. We can also jump down here for some purple coins. Which are easy to miss, so. That whole area is easy to miss, so. Yeah, yeah. We got the frost frosted cake. The boss man sure is fussy about about cake. Reckon we got him the best one though. And now we get to rematch this brutal, who's now got two hats to throw at us. Ow. Well, we should be able to actually It's about the same, so. Just with two hats. Oh man, I wish I could actually get him. Oh, I wish I could jump on him, because if you jump on him, I'm pretty sure he stops this phase, which I don't enjoy. But anyway, let's get both of those, apparently, and let's land on his head again. So here we go. Just gonna go around in circles. Okay, and here we go. Jump on that one, since it's a little bit high off the ground. And there we go. The snowy mountain barrier is cleared. Let's head on to the next one. There were four barriers, so you've got two to go. Great. Wonderful. On the plus side, if we keep getting... Um... Two... Uh, moons per area, we're gonna be done with this very quickly. Speaking of moons, we already have to get some... Moon pieces. I think I got all of those. Just gonna dodge everything. Grab that. 
And these things that pop out of the ground, you can see their shadows for where they are. Which is cool. They're not that much of a problem though. Not a very big threat, you just have to avoid getting crushed in their teeth. But they're useful as leverage and also can be used as just... Ooh, can be used as just wall jumping. Walls, I guess. But anyway, now they're at the top, let's actually just avoid the moon for now and actually grab onto the sledge. Which allows us to go up this way. And there's a tree just over here. Which has a power moon in it for us. Treasure in the ice wall. How did that miss? Oh my goodness. We also can't stay in the cold water too long, otherwise we'll take damage. Just like Super Mario Galaxy. Oh, please. Also, Cappy is a lot... Like, Cappy is kind of similar to Flood in a way. He definitely has the, um, the turbo nozzle with the flowers that you collect as well. It's just, a, uh, it's very different, but it's very similar at the same time. But anyway, Ice Wall Barrier clear. Only one to go. Icicle Cavern. We've got some Goombas here with hats on. Ow. If we step underneath the shadows, a Icicle will come down and crash into the ground. But if we can collect four Goombas and have that Icicle fall down, we can actually get up here and press this four Goomba switch. Which gives us the hidden moon. Also, I don't know if I should have got... I probably should have kept those Goombas. Especially because they're good at walking on ice. I might go back if I can for the first two, since they probably respawned already. The other two will take a second. Okay, let's go. They're not extremely useful at the moment, but they will be useful for purple coins, so... Let's just dodge that, and dodge that can jump high by shaking the Joy-Con, apparently. I guess I didn't mention that before. Can't jump extremely high, but it's useful in some cases, probably. Okay, up we go. Activate both of those. Without being crushed by them. And let's grab these Goombas. And grab these purple coins that are here. I don't think there are actually that many here to grab. But I think if I... No, I don't need them here. I need to actually just wall jump here. For these last ones. So there we go. But if we stand on those little bits hanging out with the shadows over them, it actually breaks them, which drops this gigantic icicle into the ground. Which, if you know what you're doing, you can actually just skip that entirely. I mean, it's a bit difficult to show off now, but you can actually just hat bounce your way across, so. The Bound Bowl Grand Prix. That's all four barriers. Huzzah! To the race course! Snow line circuit. There's a pipe to get back up if we need to. Hmm, can't start without one more racer. One racer won't come out uh, of the waiting room. What's taking so long? Let's go find out. And also, there's a lot of snow in here. 
that I don't think has anything in it. It's just there because it is. Ah, uh, but if we go through the snow wall over here, there's some purple coins for us. I mean, it's also satisfying to get rid of all the snow. If you get all of the snow on a lay, it drops a little bit, so it goes all down slowly, so you can get rid of it all. But it's kind of pointless. Just a little bit satisfying, though. Just a little bit. Race? I don't want to. The other races are too serious. I, I don't stand a chance. If somebody else wanted to race, they would be welcome to take my place. Well, then if I capture you, then let's race. Also, I kind of understand that feeling of if everyone else is so good, then yeah. But anyway. Depends on what it is, though. But anyway. We can move around by rolling the using the left stick, but we can also press B to bounce. And if we time our bounces correctly, I believe we actually get bigger bounces. And we can also shake to bounce as well, which also works. Anyway. Don't mind me, I'm just upside down. Finally, now we can start the race. Our frost's frosted cake was stolen, so the prize will have will be a multi-moon. Are you ready to race now? Sure. It's been a while since we've had a race, so we'll start with some training. Cool, we we know how to we know how to bounce. Let's quit training. So now we have to three lap race with all these other participants. And have to use the angles to your advantage to actually go fast. Taking shortcuts if possible. Oh please, oh please, oh please. I'm not sure if shaking's better or pressing B, but I think pressing B is easier to time. Possibly. Yeah. Just gonna slow down a bit so I can realign myself. And there we go. What a race! You are like a supersonic snowman. Your prize is a multi-moon. Anyway, now that we've got that multi moon, the level whole level has opened up to us. Look, the sun's out. It's still cold though. But anyway, we have enough power moons as well. And we can actually see a um Oh, uh, what's it called? A flag up there. Which is actually very interesting that that exists. But we can't actually get to it, so. Gonna have to just leave that. Oh cold water, cold water, cold water, cold water. Anyway, let's probably stick around just a little bit and get some more moons. Just a little bit. Starting off. This Scarecrow Timer Challenge. Get up there, Mario. Oh, don't. Turn around, please. Nope. Oh my goodness. Mario did it wrong. It's all Mario's fault. Definitely not my fault. I climbed too fast. And then jump. There we go. 
That was the time of challenge two. I have to find the first one. Now let's uh unpop that to allow us to go back up there. Uh, but I believe that somewhere up here is a seed. And I want to grab that. So let's grab that. And let's take it back up with us. Please. Thank you. And... Oh, please. Surely. There we go. Pop that in there, and let's head on up. It's this cloud that just appeared. And we get a little minigame room. Which is a secret area, so... And I love this version of this song. So good. Just do yourself a favor and listen to it. <laughs> Just in your own time or something. Look it up. I can't remember what it's called though. I think it's. Oh, I have to look it up and possibly put it in the description. But it's my favorite. One of my favorites in this game, so. Oh, why did you stop spinning? Why did you stop spinning, Mario? Anyway, if we make it back onto one of these flower platforms, we'll spin again, so let's do that. But if we go back the other way, we get a, the secret moon, and this is the actual moon that we're supposed to be getting. So that's both of these moons. Let's head back down. And say goodbye to that wonderful music. For now. We'll be back. Now, I believe down here is a scarecrow that we can put Cappy on. And this is a secret area that we can't take Cappy into. So this is going to be very interesting. And we also have this cold water that we have to deal with. Be very careful. Be very careful with. You know that thing I said? Can't stay in the water too long. It's very interesting that we have to take just Mario and no Cappy. But anyway, get through this water quickly. Okay. We're doing well. Doing very well, actually. Oh, that was not the best, but anyway. As long as we don't freeze in the water, we're good. Now, let's go through here. And I think this platform, if I stay on top of it, will actually take me to where the secret moon is. Right over here. And now, the other actual moon that we're supposed to be getting is actually down here. Which, if we go into this water quickly and then ground pound, we can actually get out of the water quickly. And don't have to worry about freezing because the water's moving down with us. It means that we can't stay ahead of it. Well, can't get ahead of it very well, but still. Anyway, that's that secret area done. That was fast. Now, I think when I went into one of the secret areas, I actually reset the moon pieces. So I'm going to have to recollect the moon pieces and actually get them in one go. So let's see if I can do that. They're not too crazy to get. One of them's under the water, though, somewhere, which I'll have to get. Um, hello purple coins. I almost have all 50 purple coins in this level already as well, which is impressive. But I guess they aren't exactly, they haven't exactly been hard to find so far, since most of them have been on along the path that we needed to take places. Is this not something right now? It's just coins. Cool. Let's grab this though, and probably grab this guy as well. To see if I can find this last... or oh, two moon pieces. Where are the last... Where's the other one? Anyway, let's get out of here and let's grab this if I can. Oh, get out of the water, 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 get out of the water. That was close. Okay. Let's take some notes. And take some more notes. 
Now for this one, you go down faster, then you go up, and there we go. Let's grab that. If I can, please. Thank you. Um, let's see. Where is this last thing that I'm missing? I don't know, but if I go up here and get rid of this snow... Look who it is. It's Captain Toad. It was so cold, I had to find some shelter, but I got buried in the snow. Brr. Luckily, I found a power moon in, in there. Enjoy! Captain Toad is chilly. This kingdom is sure is so cool. Also, cool. well, so, hey, it's a block. Just in the middle of the wall. But there's also this flag there. Where is this last piece of the moon? Is it up there somewhere that I missed? I don't know, I'll find it. But anyway, let's activate that. And now some ice platforms have appeared. So let's get across that if I can. And grab the moon. And I believe if I can have Cappy back, please. We can actually capture these cheap sheeps in this water, which and they don't take damage to the cold water, which is cool. Literally. But anyway, I believe there's actually some purple coins around the place that I need to find with this. Yep. And I don't know where the last piece of the moon is. Where's the last moon piece? Got that one. Oh, there it is. Way over there. Go. Oh, and also a... A bunny holding with a hat on. If I can hit it with Cappy though, makes it slow down and then touch it and get a moon. It's a kind of a, a throwback to Super Mario Galaxy getting the um, the star bunnies. Okay, there's that. But also, I believe over here, if I break this ice. I'm not good at breaking the ice, but I am in this game. Got some purple coins back there that we got, um, and here's the last two. Wow, that was easy. I'm surprised at how easy it was to get all the purple coins in this level. But that's good because now we can actually um, buy, th buy the gear for that. Let's go get this moon over here. Also, the penguins in this level can fly, and uh... They look like the uh, the penguins from Super Mario 64, which is cool. And I guess Super Mario Galaxy as well. It looks slightly different though. Okay. Turbo Flower Secret Level. This is actually fun. And Run Jump Throw is obviously a good song. Only hold up to three of these at a time, but it's good to restock to keep our speed going. Probably should have grabbed that other one, that's fine. Let's grab that one. Let's run straight up this 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 slope. We're gonna go past this moon, which is the one we're supposed to get, but if we go all the way up this way, dodging everything along the way, there's another moon up here. Dashing above and beyond. Getting here was a was good job. You you really are the something. The the grammar is not strong with this one. Oh, I nearly landed on it. I wasn't sure where it was, but I wanted to land on it. Anyway, dashing over cold water. That way we don't- that way we don't get cold feet. Anyway, I'm gonna head over to this over here because there's a, um, a secret area there. Let's hop in here. Oh, look who it is. It's our favorite walking Cooper Trooper. 
Hey dude, you up for a challenge? Everyone loves walking, right? The problem is most don't take it seriously. That's the that's what trace walking is all about. You can walk like a champ. You'll win a prize. Wanna try? Sounds fun! Sweet. And time to mess this up. The rules are cake. Just walk around and follow the arrows on the ground. Here's the fun part though. The arrows disappear after a bit. You gotta score 80 points or more to win. Let's go. And ice physics as well. Oh, ice physics, why? It just slides you all over the place. But anyway, I think that's fairly good. That'll do, let's see. You needed 80 points or more to win. Think you got it done? You scored? 97 points. Oh, it's not 100. That walk was serious business. Boom, this power moon is yours. I think the fact that I've got these two walking ones perfect, almost perfect twice, both tries, first tries, uh, shows just how much I've played this game, possibly too much. But anyway, I mean, I'm, I'm, I enjoy this game, so why not? Why not? Just why not? If you enjoy a game, play it. You know? You know. Um, let's see. Also, I had a dream last night where I was saying, uh, you know what I mean a lot in it, because I've been saying that a lot in my videos as well. Um, I don't think I need to do anything over here, uh, but what I do need to do is actually get to that uh, snowblower guy, or cloud, I don't know what it is. But if I can grab him and then go over this way, there's actually a few things I can do with him, but over here, if I... Go all the way around here, going very slowly. If we blow this block out of the way, there's a secret room here. And now we have a little slide puzzle that we can use this cloud for. Oh, grab, 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 thank you. But anyway, we have to get this into position. Not only as a way to get up there, but also as a way to actually just get in the cage. Oh, I messed that up, but that's okay. Just blow that way there, and then that way there, and then that way there, then I have to go around, that way there, and then almost there, just one more, and there we go. There's probably a way to get into the cage, speedrunners exist. But, I'd prefer to just do it the normal way, I guess. Although, it depends on how easy it is to glitch in there, to be honest. But anyway. Let's head on back out. There's just one more thing I want to do quickly. Since that's almost everything in this world already. I actually need to grab that guy again, I think. Unless I can grab the one up here, which I might be able to do. Can I grab you? Looks like it. Okay, let's go. So, if I take you all the way over this way, there's another one of these blocks that looks like we can move. So I feel like there's something else I'm supposed to be able to do now, but I guess not. But if we blow this block, which also if we shake, we can actually blow further. Which is useful. If we blow it all the way over there, we can then hop on out right on top of it, and if we go up here, we can see a familiar level. Back in the Cascade Kingdom, we have an island in the sky, which is really cool. I love this. And now we can actually get to the Snow Kingdom pretty easily. Oh my goodness, the Odyssey's sail is getting big gets bigger with every single moon. You can also see how many moons you have on the front of it, so we've got over 200. But anyway now, there's not much left in this level, but that is also it for this episode, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.